Teachers of Reddit. What is the smartest most creative way of cheating that you've seen? Not sure if this would work anymore. But if I had a paper to write on a book I didn't read I would find a well written paper online. Then translate the entire thing from English to German. German to French. French to Spanish. Then Spanish back to English. Pull the original paper and the new one up side by side and clean up the grammar on the new paper and you've got the same concept. But written just different enough to not be plagiarism. Worked like a charm. I remember a story from my OCHEM professor. This student all semester who wasn't showing up to class kept getting his score improved significantly after E grades. They got their tests back. Had a day to review them. And were allowed to resubmit for a grade. They knew he was cheating because of the unlikelihood of the grading mistakes on multiple exams but the TAs who graded it couldn't confidently say it wasn't their handwriting. Ultimately it was an office worker for the department who figured it out near the end of the semester. His staples were angled different than the exams handed out that were mass stapled. He was recreating the test, printing it, re-answering it, and then grading it in the same pen as the TAs and had done a good job copying the writing style. Not the student but the teacher. So. The teacher. Let's call him MR. A. Had a reputation for being a phenomenal teacher who had every student engaged invested in his class. No matter how mundane the subject. Any time he asked a question. Every student's hand would shoot in the air with them shouting things like call on me. Or I know the answer. Simply. MR. A developed a reputation in the district as one of its best teachers. Fast forward a couple years and I'm grabbing coffee with MR. And I ask him what's your trick? How did you get every student bought in? His response. Well. I told the kids every time we had a visitor in class. I need you all to raise your hand like I was giving away free candy. But if you don't know the answer raise your left hand. If you do know it. Raise your right hand. So I know who to call on and we all look good. Worked like a charm. I was supervising a final chemistry exam along with another co-worker. Not 15 minutes in. A hand slams down on a desk and I turn around expecting the worst. Only to see my co-worker angrily shouting at a pair of really frightened 10th graders whose desk he smashed. Amidst the shouting I caught the words. Morse code. The guy proceeded to take them to the office. I called a hallway supervisor to take over and ran after the group. Apparently. The kids were silently tapping the answers amongst themselves in Morse code. Not even with their fingernails. Just their fingertips. I never heard a thing. My co-worker happened to catch me in Morse code or something. I honestly thought he finally went crazy solely because of his appearance. Picture Robin Williams and Jumanji going what year is it? I'm 100% sure that if this co-worker weren't in the room, they'd have gotten away with it for sure. In elementary middle school we had to write a paragraph each week featuring all the vocabulary words included in that unit. One clever kid wrote something along these lines. One day kid's name had to write a paragraph for English class. He sat down. Picked up a pen and used these words in it. Proceeds to list out all the words. The teacher only let it go once because she never saw that happen until then. One of my old teachers told us a story about a student who had rigged up a tiny scroll of paper in a wristwatch with notes written on it. He turned the scroll by winding the watch. He ended up getting caught because he was winding his watch so damn much during the exam. But the teacher loved the creativity. In high school I was in a computer based learning program and our science tests were taken digitally. However. They used a program where once you entered the test your entire screen was locked into the test and the only way to exit it was to click the finish button on the test or turn off your computer which effectively did the same thing. Another feature of the program was that once you were in the test, anything you had in your clipboard, copied text, was not able to be pasted into the answer sections on the test to prevent the only other way to cheat. However, after creating my own classroom at home, Making fake tests and playing with the program to figure out a way to cheat I realized that it would allow you to copy things from inside the test and paste them elsewhere in this test. The developers of the program also did not take into account the sign and screen where you have to find the test and enter it. Long story short. I could copy my entire page of notes I had taken on the test material. 
paste it into the section where I would enter my login information. Then recopy it. Enter the test and paste it again in one of the answer sections. Using it to answer every question and then deleting it before clicking finish. My exams that used a graphic calculator, TI-84, required us to show the examiners a proof of reset screen before the papers started so instead of actually studying for my papers, I painstakingly redrew the proof of reset screen pixel by pixel in the TI-84's pixel art program and stored all my notes in it. Not a teacher but I used to use one of those rectangular erasers because the pencils the teacher gave us were cheap and the erasers only smudged the marks. The eraser came in a cardboard sleeve and I ripped it open and would write test answers on it then erase it after exams for reuse. I can name the worst. And I've definitely shared it before. But it wasn't my student. It was a friend's. She downloaded a worksheet for the kids to do while she was in a meeting of some sort. Kids found the worksheet's answer sheet online and proceeded to copy the answers. Last answer said student responses will vary, and that's what one kid wrote as his answer. Other times you'll see one kid misspells something or gets an answer wrong. And everyone who copied from him has the same error. I was a TA for anatomy and physiology. The professor would ask for me to sit in on finals to prevent cheating. One kid came in with a vitamin water. No worries. Halfway through the test the professor noticed they kept turning the bottle and squinting. This goes on for another 20 minutes. Professor goes up. Grabs the vitamin water bottle and rips off the label. It had a crib sheet written. On the back. The students had gone to the effort to make a fake vitamin water bottle label and write notes in the back. The professor was impressed by the creativity and decided to give the student a zero and not report them to the academic committee. I was grading a written assignment that had a 1000 word count minimum and one particular paper just felt really short to me despite word telling me it was roughly 1100 words long. On a hunch I hit Ctrl A and sure enough after the paper concluded there was a lot of white nonsense text on a white background. There was a class that allowed you to bring one sheet of handwritten notes to exams. I knew a guy that created a font of his own handwriting and used to print the entire study guide onto a piece of notebook paper. Front and back. He even set the font color to pencil gray and managed to get the margins and spacing exactly right to look like it had been handwritten. My girlfriend works for a dental exam company which are obviously super high stakes exams. Since the exams are worldwide they have actually found people from one time zone paying people from another time zone to email questions to them right before the exam starts. Stretch a rubber band around a textbook. Write whatever you want on it. Then when you take it off the textbook. It'll just look like scribble until you stretch it to see what's written. Spanish conjugations drove me to do some incredibly unethical things. I had class in the AM with a kid who was a TA for my physics class the afternoon before. Weird period system at my old school. He would tell me the answers to app tests he had graded the day before and I would write them in black ink on the side of the sole of my black boots. I would then sit with my leg bent with my foot on my knee and read the answers during the test. You couldn't see them unless the light hit the ink just right. After the test I would just lick my finger and smudge the answers out. During a keyboard harmony lab exam, a room with 28 keyboards, one devious student had previously recorded another student's perfect performance of the exam piece on MIDI. The cheater played the recorded piece on MIDI, but used all the right hand motions on his keyboard at the back of the room to try to fool me that he was actually playing it in real time. Unfortunately for him, the student he recorded happened to be my piano student, and I recognized the distinctive playing immediately. I didn't embarrass him during class by calling him out on it, but dealt with the problem privately a lesson he told me later that would stay with him for the remainder of his life. During a spelling test, miss, how do you spell piano? The spelling word was piano. Teacher went on autopilot and started spelling the word. As a student, I remember when my entire year level was accused of cheating. As the test results came back consistently high. What the teachers failed to realize was that some of the answers were actually hidden in other questions. So if you got stuck on one question, you could find the answer later on in another question. 
An example would be, this was a Japanese language test, what does word mean and later on. A question would use that word in context. So you would understand what that word meant. I'm a high school teacher. But this story is about my own high school math teacher playing us and cheating. It was an honors algebra geometry class. And it was well known that Mr. D reused the same questions every year. Just changed the numbers. He made a big deal about making sure we all gave our exam papers back to him after we had looked at our scores and gone over everything together to prevent cheating for the next year. Well, of course. Some of my classmates got their hands on a complete set of tests from the previous year. Soon. Everyone had a set. Before each exam. We would sit together and make sure we knew how to solve every problem on that test so we could do it on the real exam with different numbers. Years later. When I became a teacher myself. I saw Mr. D at a funeral. I confessed to him that this is what we used to do. He smirked and said who do you think leaked the test packet to get you to study Mr. D had figured out that kids won't study if the teacher suggests it. But if they think they are getting away with something, they totally will. So he managed to get a test packet out and circulating as contraband. Blew my mind. The end. Thanks for watching.